minutes earlier, centuries earlier, there was no clock. No way to keep time. So we could justify that giving Azan was right. Now everything is there, clock is there, time is there. So why do we have to give the Azan? Very good question. See, the reason we give the Azan is so many things. One thing is to tell everyone it is time. You tell me one thing. Everyone has the watch during examination. Yet the teacher rings the bell, time is up. So you tell the school teacher, why are you ringing the bell that the period is up? Everyone has a watch. To tell everyone, finish, time is up, next period. So today when we have the azan, you can have a big clock also. Or you can have a big ghanta, a big bell. But a prophet said, bell is not good. Therefore in the, in the Christian you have bell. Some religion you have the drum. The prophet said, no. This is not good. No drum, no bell. Someone suggested human voice. He liked it. So in better than the drum or the we have called human voice and our azan has a message. The bell, sometimes the bell in the school has a message, period is up. Sometimes the bell has a message, period is starting. Sometimes the bell has a message, different message. That fire alarm, run away. You understand? No? Bell cannot speak. You read the bell, okay, fire is there, run away. In the Azan, it has a message. It says, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Allah is the greatest. God is the greatest. Four times. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. It, there's a message. Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah. Ashhadu Allah Muhammad Rasulullah. That I bear witness, there's no God but Allah. He's calling out. I bear witness, there's no God but Allah. And Prophet Muhammad is the message of Allah. Hayal salah, hayal salah. Come to salah, come to salah. Hail al falah, hail al falah. Come to success, come to success. He's giving you a message. God is the greatest, God is the greatest, God is the greatest, God is the greatest. Four times. There's no God but Allah. And Prophet Muhammad is giving you a message that your messenger is only Prophet Muhammad. You don't have to worship him. He is only a messenger. He is the servant of God. Five times you are reminded in the Azan. Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. He is not Allah. Come to prayers, come to prayers, come to success, come to success. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. So it's a message telling you it is time for prayer. At the same time testifying there is one God. 